Introduction to Collective Liberation. This black screen has been added to the original film. The video Collective Liberation is six minutes long. The video is closed captioned with text that appears along the bottom of the screen, or sometimes a music note in the top right corner. In the video, many artists and their mentors talk to each other through an online video chat like Zoom or FaceTime. Only their upper bodies are in view. The video shows clips from the video chats mixed with animated scenes, which are like cartoons, and some moments that focus on artworks by Sharice Rain. When the video chat clips are shown, usually only the person speaking appears. The animated scenes usually look like an invisible person is creating a single line drawing with a black marker on a white background. Sometimes these drawings are colored or appear to be colored in by the invisible person. These scenes often focus on key words they say or match what the people in the video talk about, like plants growing or hearts circling the earth. The words often look like bubble letters or sometimes look handwritten with curled letters. Many of the people in the video use the pronoun they, similar to how some people use pronouns he or she. Some of the people are also gender fluid, which could mean that some days they feel more feminine or masculine, or sometimes they may not feel like either. The artists Bing Cherry, Henry Hong, and Debbie Ratcliffe appear in the video along with mentors Jet Coglin, Pre Ray Hall, Carmen Papilia. Jet describes themselves as a person who people think of as female and uses they them pronouns. Jet has a tan skin tone, looks to be around 30 years old, and has an athletic build. Their long hair is brown with bangs and worn in a ponytail. They have glasses and wear a septum nose ring through the part of their nose between their nostrils, a piercing stud above their upper left lip, a stud below their bottom right lip a black, red, and white plaid long sleeve shirt, and a long chain necklace. They sit in front of a green, leafy background. Bing describes themselves as a gender-fluid person with FASD and ADHD. Bing says that they sometimes go by he and she, but use the pronoun they in the video. Bing presents as white, is 39 years old, and is of average build. Their long hair is black with bangs, and they wear glasses. They appear from the neck up so it's not really clear what kind of clothes they're wearing. In the video, they regularly rock back and forth as they sit in a room with white walls and a window. There is a large black and white painting of people on the wall behind them. Pre describes themselves as a gender-fluid brown person of color with panjab heritage who is multiply disabled, chronically ill, and uses they-them pronouns. Pre is of a full build and says that most people think they are 25. Their short hair is black and they wear glasses, a backwards tan, baseball hat, a septum nose ring, a gray t-shirt, and have many tattoos on their left arm. They sit in the black computer chair in a room with white walls. Henry describes himself as a Chinese-Canadian, middle-aged man with autism, who uses he-him pronouns. He is of average build and his very short hair is black and gray, which some people call salt and pepper, and he wears glasses and a red sweater or black shirt. He appears mostly from the neck up and sits in a room that looks like a dining or living room with a cabinet and tan-colored walls with paintings that hang on them. Carmen describes himself as a non-visual artist instead of using words like blind or visually impaired. He has sickle cell anemia, which causes severe chronic pain and intense episodes that are known as crises. He uses a detection cane to navigate his surroundings. He calls it a detection cane rather than a white cane because he peeled off all the red and white tape when he started using it. His black hair is covered by a brown leather cap and a short full beard is also black. He wears headphones, a white shirt with a small brown print of leaves and mushrooms, and over it is a plaid flannel shirt that is open. He sits in a room with white walls. Just behind him is a stand that holds several hats. Debbie describes himself as a person with a disability called Williams Syndrome, who uses they-them pronouns. 
Debbie says their cultural background is white with Mi'kmaq and French heritage, with white beige colored skin, and are 55 years old. They also say they have the nose of a dragon, ears that stick out like an elf, small hands, and are about the size of an elf. Debbie's short, pixie-cut style hair is light brown, and they wear glasses, a colorful cloth face mask, white earbud headphones, and a black hooded sweater. They appear in front of a blurred background. The video will begin now. White text in capital letters on a black background, visualizing justice. Collective Liberation, featuring Henry Hong, Pre Ray Hall, Bing Cherry, Jack Coglin, Sharice Rain, Rubble Black, Debbie Ratcliffe, and Carmen Papilia. The words, what is collective liberation, in yellow letters surrounded by stars with black outlines. The stars get bigger and smaller. An abstract artwork with bright yellow, purple, red, and white layers of spirals on a black background called Happy Sunny by Sharice Rain. An abstract artwork with squiggly color splashes and scribbles of green, blue, and purple called The Ocean by Sharice Rain. Even though we might, not everyone has come from the same circumstances, I could see that in a way we are just like fighting for, for, for the same cause. Jack Coglin. In the fight of struggle, I do believe that every person has something to contribute. There's no person who is like just an object or is useless. There's so it's like we all have different abilities and they all don't have to be the same and they don't have to be standardized, right? Like re recognizing that we all come from very different backgrounds, but we do understand that we are all sort of kind of like seeking something really similar, which is like collective like liberation. I hope that makes sense. Big cherry. <laughs> yeah, that does. End makes of sense thought. To me. <laughs> yeah. Pre Ray Hall. Do you have any ideas about that? Any thoughts on collective liberation? Henry Hong. Uh, no, not really. Okay, no worries. Um, collective being like together and liberation being like free, happy, future. So what? What come? What do you think about if you think about like interdependent and in community in the future? I feel happy. I feel alive. I love that. The word "happy" in big, colorful letters. You feel happy and you feel alive. The word "alive" in big white letters. Carmen Papilia. There's this disabled scholar and curator whose name is Eliza Chandler. And Eliza talks about dwelling with disability. So like, instead of trying to minimize and erase and, you know, alleviate disability or your conditions of disability, let's spend time with disability. Let's, let's, you know, not try to um, integrate into a, you know, a non-disabled culture, but let's nurture disability culture. And I think that is what you're talking about is nurturing our culture as people who are disabled and inviting people into it uh, rather than asking for um, you know access that we don't have we we just need to be respected and honored for the community that 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 we are and and for the the joys the you know the beauty uh, um, that exists within our community Debbie Ratcliffe yeah and help us understand why we're not getting the access we need tell us why jet every so often we might wake up and feel oh i don't know what to do or i don't feel like there's much i can do or i don't know where to start and i think that that kind of mentality does it's not easy to like get out of that train of thought and like really do the opposite action. But I, I, I want to remind people to like re like just try your best. Like imagine, like put your imagination to flow, especially in those times when you're feeling 
that things are not getting better, that things are not changing. Why? Because if you stop imagining a future in which you can see and live in a way that you deserve and that you will feel happy and with and then others also deserve, you know, um, then you can you can create that world. Animation of hands touching is possible. It really is. It's just we need to undo a bunch of things that we have been living with for a while and we're not used to. The word bean in large capital black letters, surrounded by blue light rays on a white background. White text on a black background. Bean Studio gratefully acknowledges that we are on land of the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe people. We acknowledge the incredible support from the Canada Council for the Arts and the Ottawa Community Foundation. Special thanks, Debbie Ratcliffe, Henry Hong, Bing Cherry, Sharice Rain, Carmen Papilia, Jack Coglin, Rebel Black, and Pre Rahal. Music audio, Bucko, Chris Binkowski, video producer, Finchuan Lee. Thank you to our viewers and listeners.